Hello, I'm Francois Serene. I'm a Chief Operating Data Officer at Data4. Yes, I can, definitely. Uh, um, the chapter is part of the last section of the book, which is the business case of sustainability. And in my chapter, I basically uh, go beyond what I would call the hard business case to describe a bit what is a soft business case. The hard business case is what everybody knows about is like um, how we can achieve economies through energy efficiency, for instance, through new renewable energy that are cheaper than conventional energy, meaning by doing some stuff that is good for the environment, you're also doing something that is good for the bottom line, which obviously aligns super well. Uh, the soft business case is more about what's coming is like this data center getting bigger and bigger and have challenges to get accepted. And so sustainability is going to be the key to get data center to be accepted by local uh, communities. So the next generation data center are going to be sustainable or will not be. So this is what I call the soft business case because we're talking about the very existence of the, the next generation of uh, data center through sustainability. Well, it's super simple uh, for this second uh, edition. I was part of the first edition and I was already uh, doing a lot of work on sustainability and be part of the community. So I got involved in the first and then the second. And it's more than a book, actually. It's a lot of industry events. It's a lot of round table. So I gain a lot of insight also from interacting with the many contributors to this effort. So it's, uh, it's just a pleasure, right? Well, it's hard to pick up one uh, sustainability topic because we know it's so critical and, and there will be so many topics uh, on sustainability developing in the next uh, next few years. But I, I would pick, I would say, one or two, which is Scope 3. I think when I did the first uh, chapter in the first book in 2022, Scope 3 was not as well known as it is today. And now I could say it is well known. So, and it will develop and people will find solution to reduce their Scope 3 emission and to find ways to be really much better on that. And we know it's the elephant in the room, right? If we take a lot of the carbon uh, footprint, it's more than half, 60, 80% in some hyperscaler cases of, of their uh, raw carbon footprint. So I think this is important. And Data4 is, is really doing a lot on that, especially on concrete and, and how we can diminish this scope three. And I think the second one that is gonna come, it's not very developed yet, but what I think is gonna come a lot is I would call flexible power for data centers. I think the days where data centers are just going to take power from the grid are, are numbered and there will be a need for flexibility on the way of consuming power from the data center, whether it's on the, on the side, whether it's on the demand side. And by the way, because I'm from Europe, I, I, it's not the one, it's a third one. It's, I think big topic will be around reporting and governance. Here in Europe, we have the Energy Efficiency Directive, uh, big EU taxonomy, so big topic, right, as well. So many topics, hard to, to pick one, frankly, right? It's a tough one. <laughs>